Hello and welcome to this short video on how to add in sprint functionality into a character and also have a stamina bar which counts down so uh, so that when you have stamina you can sprint and when you no longer have stamina you can't sprint. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start off with the, with the sprint functionality now, if I, I'm going to, I've opened up a template for a third person character here, and I'm using the, the standard mannequin. So I am going to open up this blueprint, and I'm going to use Control E in order to, I've just highlighted it in the browser, and I'm using Control E to open up the character. So I've got the set character here. Now, um, I, in order to make the sprint work, I'm going to actually use um, I'm going to use a, an event, and that event is going to be controlled by a boolean to see if we can enter it. So I'm going to create a variable boolean, and I'm going to call this is sprint sprinting. That's about yeah, I'll do. Okay, so this will tell us if we're sprinting or not. And I'm going to connect this to a um, the left mouse button. So I'm going to go key left left shift. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the is sprint, hold down Alt so I get a set, and then press Control W to duplicate. And I'm going to plug. When it's pressed, I'm going to put us into sprinting mode and when it's released we are no longer sprinting. Okay so this is the functionality that will get us into the sprint mode. Okay now in order to in order to um, uh, to set this though we're going to need a different piece of functionality. Now we're going to need a countdown because we're going to have a value that says stamina. So let's create the value to start with. So if you add in a variable and let's call this stamina and the stamina we are going to we're going to change this to be a, a float and save and compile let's say one is a hundred percent full stamina and then zero would be it would be no stamina at all okay so the next thing I need is some functionality around uh, some functionality that's going to it's going to check and set the statuses for for the um, the, the sprinting. Now we're going to want to kick this off from begin play. So I am just going to have a quick look and see if we already have a begin play. No results found, so I'm going to create one. So let's call this begin play. So we have event begin play. Now I'm going to create what I'm referring to as a slow tick from this. So I'm going to drag off, create a timer, create a timer by event, and pull off of here and call this add custom event. I'm going to call this slow tick. Okay, so rather than using the normal tick, which would fire on every every frame. I'm going to create an event which fires five times, oh, let's make it um, ten times a second. Okay, and so I'm going to click the looping on, and then this means this event is going to fire ten times a second, and we can use this in order to control if, if we go in and out of sprint. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to want is I'm going to want a branch that tells us if we are in if we are in sprint if we're in sprint so I am going to drag in the um, I'm going to create a branch by holding down B connect that up and I'm going to drag is sprinting and place it on the conditions so this is gonna this is going to tell us if we're in sprint or not at every 0.1 of a second now if we are in sprint I'm going to want to change a bunch of the character movement settings. So I'm going to change two. I'm going to go set max walk speed, set max walk speed, 
and I am going to change the um, also the acceleration. So set max acceleration. Now I'm going to connect that up. Now I'm going to highlight all of this and press Control W and connect it to the false as well. Okay, so for the false, this is going to be where we set it back to its original values. So the original values for max walk speed is 600, so you can see it here, and is 2048 for max acceleration. Uh, got the number wrong. Okay, now when we're sprinting, we need numbers that are higher than this. So I'm going to go for 2000 for max walk speed, and I'm going to go for 4000 for the acceleration. So this is the so this is the the max the the, the setup. Now I'm going to move this a little bit to the right because what I want to do is. I want to add in some functionality to the stamina. So I'm going to drag in the stamina, I'm going to get stamina, and I'm going to minus a number from it. I'm going to minus, so let's start off by doing um, point, let's do point zero 0.05, because all this is going to allow us to do is it's going to um, allow us, this is going to be what's effectively our countdown. So it takes two seconds in this case to, to, to use up our entire stamina. Okay, and I am also going to do, so now I'm going to grab the stamina, hold down Alt in order to set, connect that up, connect that up, and I'm going to use this to set the stamina. So it's stamina minus 0.5, and that's going to set the stamina here. Now I am duh, 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 going to I'm going to do a branch at this point, and this branch is going to check to see that the stamina is more than. Uh, no, I think it's uh, so the stamina is more than point, um, let's say one. Okay, and what that's going to do is if it's more than point one, it's going to allow us to it's going to allow us to change the speed here. Otherwise, it's going to grab set the sprinting to is not sprinting. So that's going to um, turn the sprinting off and drag us into this. I'm also going to connect this up so that we're slowing down, slowing down the character here. Right, now what I want to do is if we are not, if we are not, um, uh, if we're not sprinting, we want our stamina to, to increase. So I'm going to drag the stamina in, control alt to set it down, connect that up to the walk speed, and this is going to be, um, so we're going to take the stamina, get, I'm going to add a float, I'm going to add the same amount, so it would be 1.5. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this value so that it can't be more than 1. And that would allow us to... And that means that it can increase, but it can't increase past the one setting. Right, okay, so now let's have a quick test of this. This should mean that once we are pushed down, I think we can run at speed for two seconds and then we slow back down. I'm actually going to change the settings here so that it's much more apparent. So I'm going to make the max walking speed. Um, I'm going to make the max walking speed 10 and the max acceleration 10, meaning you can only, you basically can only crawl at this point. I'm also going to add in a print string that says sprinting and a print, and I'm going to reduce that down to duration zero. I'll show you why in a second. And oops, I'm going to duplicate that. 
and change the text to walking. Actually, I'm going to change that to, I don't know, 50. Okay, and save, compile, and this should allow us to see you incredibly slow until we push run. And you can see that it will then allow me to run for, so I'm walking, walking, walking. And because I've set it to zero, that you can see it flashing as data in the top left hand corner. It would be consistently there, but um, if I wanted to be consistently there, I would need to get this to match the same length as that. So if I change this to 0.1, it will match it. But if it's if you use zero, it will appear when it's on tick. So walking, sprinting, walking, sprinting, walking, sprinting runs out. Okay, right. So that is now working. But we need to be able to see this in the heart in order for it to be useful. We need to be able to display the stamina. And that's quite straightforward to do. What we're going to do is I'm coming into content and I'm going to create a, a widget to place on the heart. So if we come under user interfaces, widget blueprint, and I'm going to call this HUD, then I am going to open that up and we're going to get a a section that looks like this. Uh, so this is the the UMG. So we can change and set up um, objects to be on the HUD, or, or we can create widgets that will be added to the screen. Uh, I won't go into detail, um, but what I want is I want a progress bar in this case. So I'm going to grab a progress bar. I'm going to move it across here. And I'm going to change the fill color to green for stamina. And I'm going to, I'm just going to place the percentage as one. So that's what it'll look like when it's full. And I want to bind this variable because we want to connect that to the stamina variable that we have. So I'm going to go under bind, create binding. And I'm going to go get um, let's see, player character, grab off of that and I'm going to cast that to the third person character, uh, cast to the third person character, I'm going to convert that to a pure cast so that just gets rid of the execution pins. Off of this I'm going to get stamina. And I'm going to plug that into the return value. So all this is doing is on tick, it's going to the player character, and it's going to get the it's going to get the 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 value. Or the, it's going to look at the variable stamina, and it's going to plug that into the variable in the in the um, in the HUD. So that variable will now be controlling this bar. Okay, save and compile. Last thing up I'm going to do is I need to add this widget to the player character. So I'm going to come, I'm going to need to add it to the viewport. So I'm going to come back into the third person character here. And just after my set timer by event, I am going to go create a widget. And in the drop down, I'm going to use my HUD. And one final thing I need to add to the viewport. Okay, so if I've got this right, you can now see in the top left hand corner, slightly obscured, we have our stamina button, which as you use it, it runs down and then it speeds back up again. Right, so that's the basics of it. We're just displaying our stamina and when it runs out, you come out of the sprint mode. Now, there's a, a number of other things that you could do with this, but, but that's the basic, uh, basic implementation. Right, thank you for watching.